Okay, Scorpio, welcome to another reading for you in love for me, 2019. All right. Um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. I really appreciate it. All right, what do we have for Scorpio in love and relationship for May 2019? Scorpio. Scorpio, your underlying energy is the Empress. You're coming in as the um, Six of Wands. What's blocking you is the um, Ace of Pentacles. Your next action would be the Queen of Cups. Your person is the Ten of Cups. Hmm. What's blocking them is the Emperor. Their next action will be the King of Cups. Possible outcome for you, both of you, would be the Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. All right, <clears throat> Scorpio, did you notice something? You have the King and Queen here of Cups. Suited pair. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> All right, so... The main energy we have here is um, a wanting for growth and abundance in a connection. A wanting to be more emotionally connected with someone. All right? Um, Scorpio, you have this optimism that um, things are going to be all right. Things are just going to be all right on its own, basically. You have that, um, yeah, you have that feeling that um, things are going to be all right, even if probably there could have been some contentions or some fallout. You feel that um, at the end, things are going to be all right. Mm -hmm. What's blocking you is an opportunity to start something new. Why? Because I feel that you are very much um, invested into this connection into this person. You very well know how you feel and you can also feel how they what they feel. You're very receptive to their emotions. Yeah. Your person is um, having the Ten of Cups. They're wanting emotional fulfillment too. And I feel that you know that. You feel that too. Mm -hmm. But they're not able to make it happen somehow on their own. I, I, it, it feels like they don't know how to get into that level of emotional fulfillment in this connection with you. At some point, maybe they feel um, the connection could have been a little unstable. There's not um, probably the foundation. They feel it's not fully um, grounded just yet. But I, I feel that it's going to be work in progress because you here, you definitely feel how they feel. You know what they want. But the thing is... I feel that they need guidance on how to get into the Ten of Cups here with regards to this connection, all right? <clears throat> because the underlying energy I feel here is that there is this um, wanting for growth, for abundance, to grow together, even to have a domestic life together, you know, like um, starting your own family perhaps, or having kids, getting pregnant. All right, and their next action is they would know, they know, they would come to realize that they do have feelings for you too. The only thing is, they could even feel detached because they don't. This um, King of Cups, you very well know how he feels. He knows it, he feels it, but he just don't talk about it because he's the master of the suits. He's the master of the cups. Someone who has mastered holding their emotions together. Yeah?
and that is somehow yeah quite related to this they are the master of the suit master of emotions <laughs> and they have difficulty getting into the um, emotional fulfillment why because in any connection that relates to emotions you need to relate it to someone and the queen is the person is someone who is receptive while the other one just controls his emotion so I think even if you are both suited here there's got to be some discussions there's going to be some talk that needs to go on that needs to take place because your possible outcome here there's going to be an offer it's pretty cute because both of you one is queen one is king so you're both like the head the mastery of the suit right but the action that's going to be uh, the outcome that's going to take place it's that of the page it's a young energy for love offering for if someone is coming in with a queen energy who's giving you your love that means it's a mature feeling and then if you take it in a mature way things are going to be spoken discussed talked about and accept easily right but with the page there could be some um layers of learning right there right but it's an offer there's going to be an offer there uh <clears throat> With the Eight of Swords as some um, part of the outcome, given that this is a young energy, this could bring you some, um, you know, some mental, um, not dissatisfaction, but could um, put you in a place where you might doubt each other. That, hey, this person is, you see this person as the King of Cups, but he's only offering something that is offered by the page. So even if the emotion is there, but the action that has come out is that of a... It's not coming from a suited person, perhaps, that could bring in some doubts, you know? And here I see that um, at the bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Swords. So, <clears throat> this Ten of Swords um, talks about painful endings, right? But it has ended. This, this has taken place already. So from this Ten of Swords, you go next to the Ace of Swords, which talks about knowing your truth. Yeah, and this is very good because you see, um, after that ending, you have the Knight of Swords. So somebody, someone in this connection would come forward even very hastily, like a crusader, you know, who would go into a war or fight and will just be very straightforward he tells his truth and um, do whatever he needs to do and uh, move out but here I feel it's more like um, this small offering like an offering it could be an apology it could be a start of a new discussion if there has been a disconnect here um, this small offer was because of that painful ending that has happened before yeah and with this yeah definitely you would feel a little bit doubtful whether you guys would want to move forward or not but there is this action here a moving energy of a knight of swords somebody either this side or your person would likely come forward and speak his truth like okay I want to work things out or this is what you did and that's why I'm not feeling that I'm not feeling good about it you know you, you gotta talk things out because you see after that you have another night of cups so once things are clarified once truth are spoken then there could be another form of love offering no longer from the page but of that that of a night now you have escalated at one level a knight is more mature than the page. They have more social responsibility. And they they would be more... Res it's respectable offer somehow. A more solid offer than the uh, page of um, offer. All right? And finally, you have another um, karmic call here, justice. So when you talk, you express your emotions. You'll definitely have a win-win situation at the end. Yeah, you're, you're gonna make things right. You're gonna work it out. There is a, this is a possible outcome, you know, if you make the steps to get there. You're gonna get justice. And here, yeah, I'm just 
not gonna go an ending here but yeah after justice then you guys will be working things out with the eight of pentacles it's a lot of work I, I know it's a lot of work but the desire of having that growth and abundance um, knowing what you want to be victorious about this connection and um, wanting that emotional fulfillment it's just that there are a bit more blockages perhaps because of the past because of that ending but you very well know that both of you have feelings for each other you just got to move forward as knights speak your truth and um, talk about emotions and then I mean your feelings your true feelings to each other and justice will prevail there you're going to make things right definitely yeah all right, Scorpio, what do we have from the Romans Angels for you? Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Mm -hmm. And let's get you another message from, um, from your person. What do they want you to know? What do we have for Scorpio from their person? Message, please. Love message, please. Well, let's get two. You're the only, you're the only person who truly gets me. Wow. You are never far from my mind. All right. So Scorpio, now you have these messages. Let go of control issues. Mm -hmm. You're the only person who truly gets me. You are never far from my mind. Just imagine, the King of Cups is telling you that. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Alright, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it at that. If this ever resonates, let me know in the comment section below. And please hit like and subscribe. If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.